Um, hello everyone, so I'm going to be showing you how to mod Call of Duty World at War. Um, things you're going to need for this is the ISO file for World at War. As you can see I've got mine here. And you're going to need the mod files which is Motion Flex V 2.1 or later. The latest files will be in the description. Uh, as you can see I've got mine here. And it's just two files. Uh, I think it normally comes with a readme file, I can't remember, but you don't need those. Um, and you're also going to need some programs, you're going to need FFViewer if you want to edit the code, but I can't be asked to go into that. And you're going to need, um, in second, Xbox Backup Creator or WX360. Use these to explore the image and replace the files. So first off, you want to come into WX360, uh, run it as admin, then when this opens, and you want to go on file, open your ISO, my ISO is on my desktop, Xbox, ISOs, modded, and world at war, and the ISO file. Right, just wait for this to load up all the files. As you see we've got all the files now, is what you want to do is look for free files and this will be the code post, uh, GFX, the common FF and the default um, XEX. I don't know why people extract it and replace it since you know it doesn't matter but I'm going to do it anyway just to be safe. So now you want to have a folder um, where you can store all your backups. Um, one second, let's put World at War. Alright, so I've got my backup folder. And I've come into here and right click and press extract. Now, we'll find my backup folder. Oh shit, there it is. And um, World at War. Save that. And you see it says done on the side. Um, the common FF. Same folder. And the code post GFX. <clears throat> right now that we've got these replaced is what you want to do is right click and press replace and find the modded files that will be in the description so as you can see we've got this one I think the first one we're replacing is code post and as you can see it's done now the common and this will be in the same folder as you can see that one's done now I don't know why people do this and I don't know how you have to do it but I've seen other videos where people replace the default thingy again, so I'm just going to do it anyway. So you see I've replaced it. Now, once all this is done, you just want to press file, exit, and open up ABGX. There it is. Yeah, I've got mine set as runners admin automatically. Right, now you've got this, you just want to find your ISO, wherever you saved it. World at War and then my ISO. Right now you just want to quickly get a look at my settings and are these, I have the only the top one ticked. Auto fix level 3, I have always had these ticked. I, I, the only one that I'm not sure about is the this option here but I still have it ticked anyway. The default and I have my region for PAL because I'm in the UK and English and if it doesn't exist or is invalid and that's pretty much it and then all you want to do is press launch alright while this um, fixes I'm just gonna pause the video alright uh, back everyone and as you can see this is finished but on here it's gonna give you a message saying it's not matched or whatever that's just because you've modded the files and it's basically warning you that Microsoft doesn't tolerate this but you know it's modded content so it's a chance you take so once this is done you want to come on and open image burn as admin I've already got mine set um, and then yeah just click right image file to disk right I have two DVD burners however I has um, 122 and a Y. Oh, it has 124B. The 124B is for XGD3 games because it's flashed. 
but I'm just going to select this one. Uh, I haven't got any discs because I've got more coming in the post, but this is what you want to do anyway. You want to pick your ISO. Well, you want to pick the .dvd file. The .dvd file is the one that's not even a megabyte big. Um, and then you want to come onto tools and follow my settings. Right. Come onto this and come onto the build tab. Then go to page 2 and turn the read buffer size to 512. Make sure you've got enough RAM in your computer before you try to put it up this high. Uh, you don't need it this high. Uh, I used to buy games on 20 megabyte buffer size, but it sometimes failed, and this have had better results with. All right, the next one you want to do is come onto i dash forward slash o, and come onto page two on that, and then turn the buffer size up to 512 megabytes, and make sure enable buffer recovery is on. All right, and then the last settings you want to come to the right tab. All of these should be the same. Um, if they aren't, just press restore to defaults and press yes, and then make sure you redo these, um, this again, and the I/O buffer size. The you want to also for the layer break, you want to press user specified and pick one nine one three seven six zero. The reason why you want this is because this is the layer break needed for Xbox games. If it's an XGD two. The newer games that are 8.13 gig, which are XGD3, use you press calculate optimal and it gets it from the DVD file. Right, so once that's done, you just want to put a game in and press burn. I haven't got any, so I can't. Also, depending on your burner, you either want to put it on 2.4 speed or 4 times speed. My burner, this I has 122 only uses uh the lowest speed is 4x my i has 124b can go on to 2.4 speeds but i normally run it at 4 cuz my games still work you also want to have verify check because i've burned off games before and it didn't pass the verification so it's not safe to play but i think that's all we need to cover if you're thinking shit I don't know how to get World at War the ISO go on my channel or click the link on the screen now for a video of how I download my games through uTorrent um, this is uTorrent and as you can see I've got things on my list ready to download but that's about it so thanks for watching comment rate subscribe